Look, I just want you to see that even, oh wait, that is getting better. Black Filipino above the track we know. If you like this, then donate a C no. Uh. Well, I was really shiny. Wow, that's violent. It's better now. Woo! Okay, whatever. I was gonna show you that, you know. But here we are. Okay, it worked. Okay. What's up, Chocolympia Lessons Tribe? It is Chocolympia of Chocolympia Lessons. It's been a weird day, and I, I was going between going live on Instagram. Sorry, Donna. Um, if you don't know, this is Donna. She is um, my plant. She's named after Diana Ross. Did I say Donna? Wow. That's that's what today has been like. This is Diana. Diana Ross. Okay. Anyways. I introduced my plant before I introduced myself. Those of you who have been here before already know this is Chocolumpia Lessons. I am Chocolumpia, Chocolumpia, uh, and this is my channel, and it is it is what it is. <laughs> Welcome, or thanks for coming back. Salamat, okay? So, today, it's been weird. We're gonna cook because um, I just felt like it's been a minute. I was gonna go on to Instagram Live, and then I thought, you know what? those guys because everybody wants to watch the Instagram lives but they don't want to like stuff you know they don't want to follow I'm sorry Diana maybe I should move you any hoodles we're here on on the YouTubes because I love y'all I love everybody but I, I really like it here anyways um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and I know there's a lot of you that just watch and you don't subscribe I appreciate appreciate that but also would love it if you would commit you know that's all so today i i'm just i'm gonna cook what, what sounds not like an appetizing meal at all and i feel like it will be good it just sounds really horrible i don't know it just does also um you can't see my full outfit and i'm not gonna jump because this is on okay we've got water boiling be careful in the kitchen even though this channel is not for kids if you happen to be watching and you are a child ask your parent first before cooking but this is an adult channel okay so but i'm not gonna jump but look she real cute and i have my shoes on still full like why? I don't know. You know, I, I had to just clean the kitchen first because that's how it is in YouTube land. I had to c clean the kitchen, make sure that it was pretty, okay? Because I don't want to see chaos in the background of stuff and I don't want my viewers to see that. I'm taking care of you, you know what I mean? Because I love y'all. You, you feel me? So had to clean the kitchen. We're good now. And also wanted to be presentable for my Chocolumpia Lessons tribe. Hashtag TCLLT. Okay. The meal that I'm cooking today, <laughs> it's the rest of my gluten-free spaghetti, which I don't want to, whatever brand, okay, non-spawns, and I'm not trying to clown anyone, I just, this is what I have. Um, when I used the first half of it, it wasn't that great. And I don't know, maybe I just didn't cook it long enough. But also, I feel like you don't have to cook gluten noodles as long. It says eight to 10 minutes, whatever. You know, I guesstimate everything. You know, that's how I am in the kitchen. So we'll try again today because it's gluten-free. And I had a lot of gluten last week or two weeks ago, and it just didn't make me feel great. So I'm back on the trying to limit my amounts of gluten. Okay. Also, um, I've been eating vegetarian every once in a while. Usually it's when I visit my family, you know, it's like there ends up being some animal protein in there and it's not my favorite thing. Again, I've talked about how I have my own issues with that. And while there are many things that I love, uh, I still am conflicted. And so, you know, that's whatever, that's my stuff. You know, I don't mean to share that necessarily with you unless you relate to that. 
I feel like there aren't a lot of people that relate. Maybe there are, I don't know, you know? I don't know everybody in the world, but this is Chocolate Wimpy Lessons and I'm sharing my experiences, my life's experiences. And um, that's just something that I constantly go back and forth with. Do I wanna eat animal protein? Do I not want to? Some of it I love. I feel bad, you know? Uh, health benefits of not eating it and then how my body feels you know it's like a whole thing any hoodles any hoodles any hoodles i've had a lot of coffee today it's been a busy day there's been a lot of um just you know bullshit for some reason the camera seemed like it changed and i don't know why but we're gonna keep going okay so I need to chop, I need to chop some things. Oh, and, okay, so also, whatever this brand, okay, it's fine. Oh, I covered the other part, okay. I'm not trying to clown the brand, all right? But they have these buffalo wings. Look at the picture. I was like, oh my God, that looks so good. It's gonna be bomb. No. Now, not that it was bad, right? Um, I only have three in here. It's fine. We're going to use whatever we use. You know what I mean? But it literally looks like, okay, well, I guess if you look at it, it doesn't, I guess maybe I was hungry when I bought them. They looked like little flats to me. And uh, if you don't know what flats are, it's like when you eat chicken wings, it's the flat part. Okay, that's my favorite part. And that's what I thought they were trying to create. And anytime you get like vegan things, they sometimes will make it look like the shape of what it is, just because I guess psychologically that makes people feel like they're actually experiencing it. I don't know. But this looks like you took a tube of tofu that was like a sausage, faux sausage and then you cut it this way, right? So that's what these, that's what this looks like. Anyway, I'm gonna cook it and put it into the spaghetti, the gluten-free spaghetti. So this meal is probably going to, it probably, I know it sounds horrible. It's okay, because I know how to cook. So we're gonna make it as good as we can, all right? So what I'm gonna do to do that, I guess, is um, chop up some garlic and then I'm gonna chop, chop up uh, yellow onion. Um, I have some marinara sauce that I'm going to use. I'm going to use a little bit of that and then I'm going to use this leftover uh, tomato sauce that I have because I kind of, you know, I mean it's it's not obviously from scratch but we're going to make some additional sauce. Okay, we're going to do that. Should I put carrots? Carrots? Ew. Not carrots. Should I put corn? I don't know. I have corn. I could put corn in there. I don't know if I want to put corn in there. We'll see what it looks like. You know what I mean? We'll see. Anyways, I have some tofu also that I might just like crumble up and put in there so it almost kind of seems like some type of bolognese. Bolognese, right? I don't know. You know? We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Anyways, what I was saying before. How are you guys? How have you been? Are you good? Did you have a good day today? Tell me about it while I prep this. Yeah. Okay. Well, that sounds good, right? And what about that one person you were telling me about last time? Hmm. Yeah, he a ho. <laughs> I kid, I kid. I don't know who you're talking about, but whoever you talked about, yeah, that, you know? I like to cook because it helps me, like, focus, and if I have aggression, I get to bang on things and chop. You know what I mean? Not that I have aggression. Um, today... <laughs> Maybe a little bit. It's fine, you know? Because I'm either meditating or doing yoga or stretching or deep breathing. I deep breathe a lot. And I deep breathe to the point where people think that I'm irritated, but honestly, I deep breathe to remind myself to breathe. Have you ever 
Have you ever had a dream? <laughs> Do you guys know what that is? That's funny. I love that kid. That kid makes me laugh so hard. That video is so cute. <sighs> what I was going to say is, um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. Have you ever gone a day where you just realized that you weren't breathing as deeply as you should have been? And then your chest feels tight and you feel all constricted and shit. It's weird. You have to deep breathe. It's important. It's important. My neighbor texted me last night and she was like, hey, just a heads up, um, there's a huge spider. A huge spider making a web over your car. Just want to let you know tomorrow when you, you know, go about your business. Uh, just a heads up. And I appreciate, I appreciated that text, you know? I appreciate that. Cause that, I actually yesterday walked through a spider web and it was thick. The web was thick. And I don't know enough about spiders to know what that means, but I know it can't be good. I know it was probably a black widow or something serious. You guys can let me know in the comments, but I am not trying to make friends with a big ass spider. No, no. Oh no. I will take video of you from afar and photos and be like, whoa, look at how crazy the spider is and zoom in but I ain't getting real close. Nope, those motherfuckers jump sometimes. No, I am not a fan of spiders. Um, have you seen Arachnophobia? <laughs> I saw it once. That movie was uncomfortable. If you actually have like a weird, well, Arachnophobia, that's the actual name. <laughs> I was going to say, if you actually have a weird fear of spiders, if you actually have arachnophobia, that movie is traumatizing. Now, I don't know if I have arachnophobia, but I don't like watching videos of them. Like when, um, when people <laughs> have videos of insects in Australia. No, I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. I don't want to know. No, you know? And again, I feel bad and I feel conflicted. I will give them time to get out. And I will, if I'm in a place where I know people around me and I'm like, hey, who's comfortable with picking up a spider? I will recruit, but bro, uh-uh. Oh, my eyes are watering. Ooh, okay. Okay, that's happening. So I guess I should turn this on instead of talking the whole time. But you guys, I want to catch up with y'all. <laughs> Cook these three little... <laughs> I love that I was like rationing my vegan chicken wings. Oh my God, what is wrong with me? I just like to make things interesting, you know? You gotta entertain yourself. Cause if you can't entertain yourself, then who, who the fuck are you gonna entertain? You gonna entertain? I don't know, anyways. Did I turn that on? Nope, I just put the oil in it. That's cool. Let me chop this real quick and then we'll get back to that. Um, update it's been 30 days and i feel like one of the last lives i did was a month ago already or i might have been in the middle of it but i was talking about this challenge i will put which side is she gonna put it on i will put the reference here in case you didn't see that video, you should watch that video. It's from an IG Live that I did. And also, 
um, I talk about this challenge. It's not a challenge really. It's more of a figure out what the fuck you want to do in 30 days, which I already know what I want to do. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's just like getting it to happen. So manifesting, but not just manifesting and being like, oh, I hope that this happens. Like really putting in the work and I've been busting my butt. I've been working my ass off, Jeff. That's a Paula Abdul reference that I use a lot. And a lot of people don't know what that reference is from. It's from her show when she had a reality television show and she was on a lot of uh, pain meds. And you know, when I say it like that, it's actually really not funny, but she was a character, man, um, because drugs are bad, okay? Also, it came to my attention today. Wow, I have a lot to talk about, surprisingly, <laughs> or not. It came to my attention. Okay, now the noodles, the water is ready for the noodles. The timing is off, it's okay. Someone brought to my attention today a story about a woman, and I don't know if this is, well, it is old, it's from 2020, but I don't really pay attention to the news too, too much because when I watch it, it makes me wanna cry because the world is sad. And, um, and I don't know how to help, except for to be funny or to share any kind of tips or advice on social media and my YouTube channel which thank you for those of you who are subscribed and like and comment and follow and share. I appreciate you so, so much. And if you aren't subscribed, please consider doing that because, um, because that would be cool. Any in 2020, I just put the garlic on and the fire just turned on. And so that's gonna be off. It's okay, you know, it's, I'm out of practice. I haven't done this with you guys in a minute and there's a lot to catch you up on. I just realized that I jumped topics also, but we'll get back to it, it's fine. Um, actually, I'll put the 2020 story on hold because that's whatever. The main focus is I had a realization. <laughs> oh my God, oh my God, what is going on? The 30 day challenge was this. every day for 30 days around the same time in your journal, you were to write down three things. And I will share them again here, giving credit to the TikToker, 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 to the TikToker who I saw posted. Now, what I realized, and I knew that this was going to be my realization, it's very easy, because um, I know myself, and I've been on this planet for 107 years, so I already know. Plus, on top of 107 years, many multiple lives before that, I feel, okay? So, yeah, and so this, it's gonna be like that for a while, because it's gluten-free, it's weird. It's really hard to figure, and then it eventually it becomes malleable, and it's like, it's, it's, we're just, we're trying, okay? We're gonna try it. Moving on. Um, the reoccurring theme in my journal, it's a journal to figure out like what, what you wanna do. What do you wanna do with work? What do you wanna do with your career? The number one, what is, what is one thing that um, energized you today? What is one thing that drained you today? What did you find out about yourself today? These are the questions, right? And um, <laughs> a reoccurring theme for me was uh, that I, I enjoy and get energized very much from editing and recording my YouTube videos. I had no idea that when I started this channel, I started this channel in August, I think, of 2020, but I didn't post anything until like April or May of 2021. I might be wrong, I can't remember. I feel like it's been six months, eight months, something like that. Anyways, I'll look back. But so I didn't know that editing was gonna be 
really fun for me. I didn't know that creating thumbnails was gonna be really fun for me. I already knew that captions were fun because I write and I love writing and you know, captions on Instagram have always been fun. Um, so that was something that came up reoccurring and I knew that already, but it was just cool to see how much every day I would be like, I really was energized and excited about creating content for YouTube and editing my videos and coming up with ideas and making the thumbnails. Looking at the analytics, even though sometimes it can be stressful, looking at the analytic, analytics was fun because also data nerd, you know, like I, I want to see the numbers and, and understand how all of that works and just research, okay? <laughs> so that was one of them. And then two, what drained me the most a lot of times was like driving. Now I love driving, but driving for a commute is different. It just hits different. Like when you're driving to travel, that's fun. If you're driving, if you're driving, oh my God, oh my God. If you're driving for a trip, that's exciting, right? Like you're going somewhere, you know that you're gonna do something fun, but when you're commuting, it's like everybody's road ragey and then like people for some reason, and I say for some reason, and I know it's because we were all in lockdown for a year. Like a lot of people weren't driving and I love that. I liked not having to commute. You're talking about me, someone who used to be what's referred to as a frequent flyer because you would teach at multiple different locations or you would do makeup at multiple different locations or you would whatever, do serving or whatever for multiple locations, personal training for multiple locations. So you're constantly driving, always in the car, always dealing with people who don't know how to drive, people who are nervous about driving, people who have road rage, people who drive too fast when it's raining, all of that, you know? And so I don't miss that. And I knew that I didn't miss that in that year of not of, of being able to be remote and working from home, I already knew. And saving gas and like not having to do as many oil changes because you're not driving as much. Oh my God, you know, everything about it, everything about being remote was like amazing to me. Sorry, that's me though. I know that that's not everybody's situation. I just wish that my dog was still around, you know? That would have been perfect because then I'd be home with my dog. But, um, you know, RIP, she's not here. She's here in spirit, but yeah. So for me, that was a big recurring theme is that I didn't want to deal with people driving. People don't know how to drive. It's really, weird and sad and confusing like why don't you know how to drive like I feel like I could be a pro driver <laughs> like one of my favorite driving scenes and I've talked about this on Instagram is bullet if you don't know what bullet is and you like cars well first of all that that sentence doesn't even make any sense you like cars and you like vintage cars and you like action and driving you're you already know what that movie is if you don't here's the photo okay there's a racing driving it's not even racing but well they are driving fast but they're one guy's trying to get the other guy right basis of the story or of that scene and it's there's no special effects it's real stunt drivers driving real cars down the hills and up the hills of San Francisco and their vintage, well, now they're vintage cars, right? They weren't vintage at the time, but dude, vintage cars are so rad. Um, but they're, it's just craziness and it's like 15 minutes long and it's all real. There's no, that's my foot. <laughs> I just wanna to try to soften up these noodles because they get a little bit um, clumpy <laughs> is the word that I don't wanna use, but that's the best way to describe it.
maybe if I put some oil in it, I don't know. I don't know what's gonna help that, you guys, honestly. Um, but, I think for this rear, I'm going to put this. This is the tomato sauce, sauce, tomato sauce. And then I'm gonna put, it's diced tomatoes, okay? No salt. No salt added. Oh, for the uh, buffalo wings, there's like a buffalo wing sauce and it was too, I'm not a, I'm not a, Okay, I know this isn't gonna make any sense at all, but I'm I'm not really a buffalo wings kind of person, but I love wings. So if there is an option for wings, I'm not gonna be the one that gets the buffalo wings sauce because I like other stuff. So just a little bit of this, just marinara, a little bit. Ow, bitch. You need to calm down. Okay. Um but yeah, Bullet, you should watch it. I'm sure you already know about it. If not, it's definitely worth watching. Um, putting things away because that's what I love to do when I'm cooking. That's how I can keep things really clean. Okay, this is the barbecue for the buffalo sauce that came with it. I think I'm just gonna dump that because we don't need it. We don't need it. Anyway, I feel like I'm a professional stunt driver. I shouldn't act like it. You know? We'll just leave that sentence like that. I drive safely. Ooh, that is sharp smelling. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's stir this again. Oh, it feels softer. Okay, this is good. It's still like not quite wanting to separate, so I'm gonna try to let that just whatever do its thing there. Now, how are you guys doing? I'm I'm gonna flip these little bits. I cut them in half just to make more of them. I don't know. Uh, they look, I don't even know what this looks like. They look like, like you took something vegan and cut it in half, bro. <laughs> That's what it looks like, okay? Anyways, I trust that it will be good. I'm gonna put the onions in now, get those saute in dropped one already that's fine we'll use that so okay driving sucks I mean driving for work sucks driving in general I love driving I wish I could be a stunt driver but um I also really like being alive and my legs you know because dance so that's kind of out of the question I one time, oh my God, you guys, this was so awesome. And I wish I had, I mean, obviously you're not gonna have video of it cause that would not be safe, right? But I one time pulled a Yui, I flipped a bitch, flipped a bitch. And like, it was so fast. Don't try this at home, and I'm not condoning this at all. I'm just saying this this made me really happy because it was really fucking cool, and nobody saw it. I was by myself, which is the story of my life. But So I'm going to tell you guys because you're my Chocolate Wimpy Lessons tribe, and that's who I share things with, right? Okay, so I'm driving. This is me driving. driving. I'm driving down the street. I don't really drive like that, but I'm just showing you for visual. I'm driving here. It's like you're in the back seat with me. I'm driving, and I see a parking spot. It's over here, right? I flip a bitch. Whoop. And I go right in between these two cars, parallel park. I don't even have to do the regular, you know, zoom, jump. I go right in from, dri I'm driving, 
and I flip a bitch, zoom, 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 right into the spot, zoom, perfect. Dude, I got out of the car, I was like, really? Nobody saw that, dude. Nobody saw that. So, just imagine it, it was really cool. I wish you were there. Would've been dope. I was proud of myself. But I do stuff like that all the time, which I, sh I you know, I'm not like, this is why I say I would love to be a stunt driver. But I don't want this to like age badly. You know what I mean? You know what I'm getting at? Anyways, next topic, let's move on. The next topic's really not that much happier. Um, but it has not left my mind since I read about it. Uh, someone that I work with, decided to show me this article about a woman who was, um, for some reason, I don't know all of the backstory, you know? I don't know her life, I don't know the backstory. I apologize if she's related to you or you know her. I'm not trying to be offensive. This is just all I gathered from skimming because I didn't really want to read the whole thing because uh, I was working, technically. So, um, she's suffering from depression, decides that meth is a good idea and that that's going to help with the depression. I don't know where she got her sources on that. Drugs are bad. Okay. Don't do drugs and for sure. Don't do meth when you're trying to cure depression, go to therapy, find some better friends because she was with friends when this all went down. This is why I always tell you guys, Chocolate Olympia Lessons, who you surround yourself with is very important. If your friends are idiots, then you're probably gonna end up doing some idiot shit, you know? So like, you gotta get out of the mindset of hurting people's feelings when it comes to protecting yourself because had she, and again, this is not me judging. I'm just trying to pull information from what I got from the story and how this went extremely badly and how to prevent it, hopefully, for anyone else. Um, and, you know, we've all been there where we've been with people who weren't the best influence for us, right? So, she was with friends. They decided to do some math. It went wrong. Cops came. Cops said, hey, we're gonna take you to jail because you're tripping balls, okay? And you're violent and acting out of pocket, like for real, for real. So while she's in the car, she's it starts to hit even harder, right? She's tripping balls in the cop car. And then for some reason in her brain, well, not for some reason, it's fucking meth, dude. Like, I don't know what, I've. Am I running out of space? Why is this, why did it stop? Are you too hot? Are you too hot, baby? Let me check you, you seem like you're fine. Okay, let me get to the point then. But I am cooking, so, you know, and now we're sweating, it's great. Okay, maybe the camera didn't like the story, it's like taking it personally. Um, so in her head, she starts thinking about how or she's hearing voices that if she goes to the police station, can you hear me? I hope you can. I'm trying to not splash myself, but I'm basically just taking that firm tofu and I'm squeezing it so that it looks like, so it looks like ground beef, okay? It's tofu, right? Okay. So she starts hearing these voices and the voices in her head say, hold on, no, they don't say that, but I'm gonna check that to make sure that all of what I just recorded is actually recording so that I don't have an even worse day, hold on. Okay, we're back, the AC is on because it's hot. I'm sweating, okay, cooking and sweating. I'm adding some Himalayan salt and some cayenne pepper to the sauce, all right? But don't forget, I, I, I know where I was in the story, don't worry. I know it seems chaotic, but I do actually know what I'm doing. So 
talk amongst yourselves. All right, so that's enough. I'm just kidding. <laughs> talk amongst yourselves. Okay, stop. I don't think I want to add corn to the sauce. I don't know. Anyways, so she starts hearing voices in her head, okay? And the voices are saying, once you get into the cop station, the cop station, once you get into the police station, the cops are gonna torture you. And they're gonna torture you unless you rip your eyeballs out of your face. So you have to prevent them from torturing you by ripping your eyeballs out of your face. Sorry, disclaimer, okay? Trigger, warning, violence. I'm not, you know, this is a story that is on the news. So they get her there, they put her in a cell because she's acting, you know? And then apparently they, I don't know if they like were cutting her clothes off because she was ripping at them, but they somehow ended up cutting off her acrylic nails, okay? Now, if you've ever had acrylic nails, I used to for a bit, I loved them, but also I enjoy not having them. Um, when you take them off, if you take them off not in a nice way, um, they can be jagged, but apparently they were cutting her nails off to prevent her from hurting herself, right? But when you cut acrylic nails, now you have these thicker, sharper, jagged things that are on your fingers, okay? Worse than a regular nail, I think. They leave her in the cell. She starts to claw out one of her eyeballs. Apparently the guard is watching this, but there's, the claim is there's so much blood everywhere. You know, it's like a hazard, it's a health hazard, you know, because blood, you're supposed to be like in gloves and covered and all of that. And while the guard goes to tell someone, hey, you know, this is what's happening in this cell or this whatever, uh, she manages to rip out the other eyeball, okay? Crazy shit. I mean, not crazy, it's drug-induced, right? So of course, it's insanity. So with her jagged nails, she has taken out both of her eyeballs and is now suing the city because no one went in to stop her. Now, my thoughts on this, and it doesn't matter because I'm not you know, in the law enforcement or creating anything to help with this situation anyway, but I'm gonna share my opinion because it is Chalk Olympia lessons. Um, if I was on duty, I don't know if I would want to willingly go into a room where someone's tripping balls on meth, ripping out their eyeballs, because I would think that they would probably try to do the same thing to me. And if I don't have the equip, the equipment, wow, if I don't have the equipment to go into said bloody room uh, and not be exposed to who knows what's happening, then I ain't going in there. But I also didn't watch the video, right? I don't wanna see it. Uh, so I don't know if there was lack of urgency. I'm sure, you know, <laughs> I feel like there's lack of urgency in everything. I feel like there's lack of urgency on the freeway when people are trying to cross or get into the lane or merge. I feel like there's lack of urgency when people are crossing the street, pedestrians, okay? So I get it, there's probably that. that I know, I, again, I don't know, I can't speak on it, I don't know enough about it, but this is, sorry, Diana, this is something that's been in my head and I apologize for sharing it with you and now it being in your head, you can Google it if you want, um, I don't know her name and I don't, I don't really necessarily care to share the complete details because if you want to figure it out, you'll figure it out and you'll find it on your own. But this has been something on my mind. And also the learning or teachable moment here, like I said before, and like I have always said in most of my posts here on my podcast, Chocolumpy Lessons, if not here on the Chocolumpy Lessons channel, YouTube, uh, is to be aware of who you surround yourself with. Be aware of who your friends are, of who your friends' friends are, who your boyfriend, husband, wife, girlfriend's friends are, because that all circles back. Every movie that I watch, every book that I read, well, not every, but a lot of them tend to have a reoccurring theme that I see 
and it's not just because oh well you you just see it because that's what you're focusing on I'm really and I, okay I watched a horrible movie the other day and I have to talk about this on a whole nother episode but this movie was called In the Earth and it reminded me of M. Night Shyamalan vibes because I was very upset when I finished this film. This film was horrible. I'm not gonna give it away for you, but you're gonna be mad at the end. Now, there's moments where you feel like you're tripping balls and that was really pretty and cool to look at or scary depending on how you see that shit. Um, if you've listened to my podcast, you know my experience about a haunted house and and that's as far as I'll go with sharing that here. But listen to my podcast because then you'll know what I'm talking about or referring to. But this movie in the earth was, like I was very upset at the end, okay? And even in that movie, it's a theme. They're all themes. Know who your friends are. Be aware of who you surround yourself with. Be aware of the energy that you allow to penetrate your thing, you know? telling you it's for real man that is real so anyways that's been on my mind I don't even know why I necessarily shared that with you it's just you know we're catching up you know it's been a minute since I've done a cooking video and I wanted to share while I made this weird meal that I think actually will be really good because it's looking really good I might have gone hard on the onions I'm realizing now but you know maybe I should throw some corn in there I don't know it looks good though I will do a video so you can see it and the noodles look softer so that's good I mean, the tofu looks nothing like ground beef. <laughs> I don't have those crumbles though, you know, the, the vegan crumbles or the vegetarian crumbles that you can use in place of um, ground beef. I just, I'm using it because I had it and I, it needed to be used. So, you know, it is what it is. We do what we can here. Um, I'm going to finish this up. I'll take a video of the food so you can see what it looks like. And then I'll do a first bite. I'm down to do that. <laughs> I, I don't think it'll be bad. Because it's really rare that I make something that's bad. I mean, I'm not trying to be like, everything I make is amazing. But very rarely do I make something and I go, oh my god, that was not great. Okay. Okay. Any hoodles, thanks for listening to this weird story time. All right. So here are the vegan, or I'm sorry, the gluten-free noodles, the sauteed onions, and the buffalo wings. <laughs> or we're going to call it sausage now, just because it looks more like sausage. And then the tofu, I know, the tofu, it looks wretched, but it's not, it's going to, it's gonna pick up the flavor of the tomatoes that are in there, okay? It's gonna be bomb. So I think everything's fine. Ooh, where's the light? Oh my God, where's the light? Oh, okay, um, I think everything's fine. It's just like in power saving mode or something. Anyways, um, I'm hoping that there aren't things that I left unfinished thought-wise. It does feel like it was all over the place, but I guess that's like post-work brain, you know? Like being on all day and then like literally the first thing I did was come home clean, get YouTube ready, <laughs> and then record this video. So that shows my priorities. I didn't even change cause, cause I like my outfit. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I also just wanted to share too, if you've been keeping up with the April healthy challenge, I know April is not the month that we're in right now, but I posted about it here. I always refer to it in case you didn't see that um, but I this month is five months sober I haven't had anything to drink nothing for five months and it feels really good and it's kind of exciting I don't know if I'll stay with it but it's just been cool to see how long I can do it 
just kind of as a challenge to myself. I like challenges, you know? I mean, hold on, hold on universe. That's not what I'm saying. I don't like challenges. I like to challenge myself to be a better person there, okay? So yeah, I'm good on the challenges. Like that's why this whole channel exists, Chalk Olympia Lessons, because it's been a lifetime of challenges, okay? I'm good on the challenges, okay? Um, so I'm gonna do a first bite so that you can see it's literally so hot, it's still on the fire. So I'm gonna let it cool off a little bit, do a first bite so you guys can see what the meal came out looking like and if it <laughs> is good. And yeah, thanks for watching you guys. So real quick, this is how the noodles came out. They look really good. They're soft, they're pliable. I know, sorry. And this is the sauce. I'm not gonna stick my finger in that, but you know, that's what it looks like. That's the tofu crumbles that aren't ground beef look-alike crumbles. It's fine. We changed. Woo! We comfy now. Chalk Olympia Lessons t-shirt merch link in the description. Should I anything? Okay, now. The final moment. Listen, it doesn't look pretty, okay? It's it's fine. Not everything is pretty, you know. You su superficial assholes. <laughs> Sue, you superficial assholes. Okay, so we got a good chunk of it. <sighs> All right. What do I want? I want to do. I want to put some cheese on it. Mozzarella. Yeah, you know? Let's put some mozzarella. Put some mozzarella. Okay. It's a hefty pour of the mozzarella. And then I'm even gonna put some Parmesan and Romano cheese on there. Cause ballsy. Cheese it up, man. If my legs are ashy, it's because they've been in slacks all day, you know? Mind your business. All right. So here, oh, look at that. That looks really good, you guys. Okay. Ready? The moment of truth. Here, let's go up here. Should I go up here? Too bad I don't. Can you hear that? It sounds all moist. I mean, moist is a good descriptive word, okay? Oh, okay. So here's the thing about <laughs> about the gluten-free noodles is they just kind of break sometimes. It's fine. Okay, here we go, first bite. Oh, that is hot. Did you see that pull? That was a cheese pull right there. Oh, look at that, look, that's cheese. Mmm, mmm, that's good. All surprised. It's good. Oh, you know what? Wait. Hold on. Let me find one of those little nuggets. Do I even have one in here? Where'd it go? Hold on. This is the longest first bite ever. Well, this is the second bite, but. Mmm. Okay. Okay, so these, this is one with the um, buffalo wing, okay? So the buffalo wing, these fucking noodles. Okay, and there's the buffalo wing, or the sausage in quotes. <laughs> okay, yeah. At first I was like, it just tastes like more of the tofu, but there's seasoning in there. What's the seasoning? 
that makes things taste like sausage. Mmm. I can't think of the name. I'll remember and I'll put it in. Mmm. I wish I had more of that now. It's fine. Thank you guys for watching. It ended up good. If you want to make it, you know, you saw what I did. It's nothing spectacular, but when you're starving and you're trying to be meat free, it's really good. All right. I love you guys. So much for watching. Bye. Thank you.